use of sharp objects, when Amy Adams invited me to accompany her in that dark journey, I cared for that character as I was reading the book. It was like a page turner. It's true that my last uh, projects were uh, featuring mainly uh, female characters. So am I the lucky guy? Uh, maybe, maybe I am. I'm not afraid of intelligent, strong women. You gotta create a space where they're gonna feel uh, respected and comfortable. We push the envelope in order to capture something that feels real and authentic, but it's not like putting the style above storytelling and emotion. In this case, it was Camille Spreaker's perspective. What she sees is what we see, what she hears is what we hear. Wherever Amy Adams is moving and looking, I whisper to the DP, let's go behind her, let's she look there, and I want to see what she's looking, and then I want to see her reaction. I'll probably come here after. This will all happen on the day on the set. So there's no storyboards, there's no shot list, there's no mark, there's no reflector to reflect the light. We're not blocking the light, therefore they can go wherever they go. It's just on the day being creative with the actors instead of being technical about recreating the, an impression of reality with light. I'm reacting to what they're doing instead of being active and telling them, this is what I'll do with the camera. In the cutting room, I try to respect that approach and use the main character's looks to tell me where and when to cut. It's all about actors and storytelling. It's the, the love of what I do, I love it. You know, I'm like a kid on a set, uh, a kid playing with a huge toy and having fun.